What's up guys, today I'm here with a little bit of a tutorial for Geralt. In case you don't know, he's the guest character in Soul Calibur 6. He's from the Witcher series originally, which is a great RPG series that I highly recommend checking out. But if you're here playing Soul Calibur 6 and you're interested in a new character, I think Geralt is a pretty good choice. Uh, he's a very strong mid-range character. He's got some long-reaching moves that can really kind of keep the opponent at the tip of your sword. He's very safe, he's got excellent whiff punishing, uh, and he's kind of a good all-around sort of not-too-offensive, not-too-defensive type character, and he's pretty simple, so I think he's a great character to start with as well. So let's run through some of his important moves here. I think one of his most important moves is 6-6-A-A, uh, six, six, a, a. and by the way, if you don't know about notation in this game, make sure to check out my last tutorial where I discuss kind of how to read notation in this game and how combos work and stuff like that, so check out that link. But anyway, 6-6-A-A six, six, a, a is super, super long-reaching. Uh, it's very safe. This move is just really hard to whiff punish, because you can see he just travels so far, you know? It's really hard to stand outside of range of this and try to punish it. Uh, so, the one downside of this move, obviously, since it's a high, it can be ducked, so keep an eye out for that. If you're using it too much, the opponent can just duck and hit you afterwards. Uh, but, in order to beat ducking opponents, 6 BB is pretty strong. This is also one of his better normals. Uh, so obviously the first hit is mid, and it goes into this little uh, Igni fire thing. So, if you just tap the second button, it'll only do two hits like that. But if you hold the second button, it'll do extra hits, and it will crumple the opponent. But this does cost a quarter of a meter. Uh, so you can combo off that crumple if it connects which is pretty nice, so you can get pretty good damage with this. So like if you're in a whiff punish scenario, very very good for whiff punishing and you get the little follow up. So this is just a great move. Uh, it is unsafe on block if you only do the first two hits, but if you hold it down it is safe on block. And it actually does chip damage as well, which is a little bit nuts. So you can see here, I take a little bit of damage even while I'm blocking, and it's like completely safe. There is nothing that you can do about this move when you block it. Uh, so 6BB, that's another really good one. Uh, just in terms of like somewhat long-reaching moves, his AA is pretty good. This will kind of be the move that you're throwing out the most in neutral and in scramble situations. Uh, his 6A is kind of interesting. He's got two follow-ups here. So 6AA, there's a big gap there, and the second hit is mid. And 6AB, there's a much smaller gap, and the second hit is sort of a vertical strike. So the trade-off here is that if you're doing 6AA, they can interrupt you between the hits. But if you're doing 6AB, they cannot interrupt you between the hits, uh, but they can sidestep it. So generally, I'm a pretty big fan of 6AA, the reason being uh, that if they block it, it sends them really far away. So what I like about this is it kind of puts you in range to start pressuring them with 6-6-A-A again. So to me, that's kind of the range that Geralt wants to hang out at. He wants to hang like right about here, the tip range of his 6-6-A-A, and also the range where if the opponent whiffs something, you're going to be able to get that big whiff punish with 6-B-B. A couple other good whiff punish normals for Geralt, we've got 3-B. This is just his regular launcher. So like if the opponent whiffs something, you know, you can punish with this and it's pretty good. Uh, definitely not bad. He's also got his 3-3-B or 9-9-B, same thing. Uh, this is really only meant to be used if you sidestep a vertical strike or something. Don't just throw this out. It is unsafe on block, so be very careful about that. Uh, but if this connects, you get a full combo afterward and it's just a ton of damage. So, you know, if the opponent is kind of throwing out a bunch of vertical strikes, you know, you can sidestep them and get this big punish. Really, really sick. So again, be careful with that move. It is unsafe on block, but if you know it's gonna hit because you see a whiff or something, very, very strong combo starter. So Geralt's whiff punishing is really good. His block punishing maybe leaves a little bit to be desired. He doesn't have any really good full crouch moves or while standing moves. While standing B is his best one. It's pretty fast and it's two hits, but it's just not that much damage compared to some other characters that can like really blow you up if they block a big low. Uh, if you block a big low with Geralt, you're not really going to get that good of a punish. You're pretty much only going to get while standing B, which it's fine, but it's not amazing. So 
He's a very good whiff punish character, uh, but generally when you're blocking things, you're only going to get wall standing B, or you might get AA or BB. Those are really his only good punishes. 6BB, it can punish some things, but it's a little bit slow. Same with 3B. So definitely more of like, you're going to want to be sidestepping and backstepping a lot with Geralt to try to get whiffs, rather than, you know, standing there and blocking and waiting to punish things on block, you know. Speaking of lows, he does have a couple good lows here. Uh, 1B is a low that trips, so that's pretty nice, and then you can go for another mix-up when they're waking up. Uh, but this is unsafe on block. The opponent blocks it. They're going to get a punish, depending on the character. It could be pretty bad. He's also got 1A, so 1A has two follow-ups. 1AA is this little sign blast thing. Not a natural combo, but it is safe on block, so it's generally pretty safe to throw this out. Uh, he also has 1AB, also not a natural combo, but if the first hit counter hits, this will combo. Or if they're trying to stick out a button in between the two hits, you get this nice lethal hit and you can get a full combo off that. So very strong, uh, but the second hit of that string is unsafe on block, so be very careful. Uh, don't just throw this out willy-nilly, because you can get like big time punished for this if the opponent knows what's up. So be very careful. Generally, I like to use 1AA, that's my go-to low, or uh, 1B if I really think they're not expecting it, because you do get pretty good mix-up off of that 1B. So that's most of his notable normals, I would say. Let's talk about the signs here. So Geralt has four different sign attacks, and they can all be done with A plus B inputs. So this one is the Quen Strike. Uh, he activates this little bubble, and he comes and hits you. And worth noting that this can uh, absorb attacks, which is pretty nice. You can just blast right through stuff. And then it has some different follow-ups depending on what button you press. But, you know, generally I find this move, like, a little bit slow. I don't really use it that often. It is safe, which is nice, but, like, it uses a quarter meter, which is worth noting. Most of his sign moves are going to use a quarter meter. So this isn't really one that I throw out a lot, uh, but it does exist, which is worth noting. Um... The down A plus B, that's the Igni sign. And this is probably the best sign, but usually you're not just going to be throwing this out by itself. Usually you're using it attached to his 6B B string. So this is just going to be one of your kind of bread and butter moves that you're throwing out a lot. So that's a really good one as well. Back A plus B, that is your Earden Glyph. So this is actually a counter. Uh, if you use it and the opponent doesn't do anything, it just does nothing. And it's not like it stays on the ground. I kind of expected that to be what it did, like it would leave a trap on the ground. But no, uh, it just catches the opponent uh, if they're trying to hit you or whatever. So you get a nice little counter and you get a full combo off of that. So that can be pretty handy. Generally, I think maybe you'd just rather use a guard impact because it doesn't use any meter. But, you know, the reward for this is pretty good. So I guess I could see some advantage there that you do just get, you know such a huge reward if that lands because you get a combo off it so that has some use as well i would say in kind of situations where you know the opponent is going to be pressuring you and then finally here we have ard ard is uh, a special mid so it can be blocked high or low worth noting and it's just kind of this pushback it's safe on block and uh in the corner you can actually combo off it which is kind of cool but generally i don't use this move that much i don't find it that useful like it's nice how fast it is and the range is really good but to me it just doesn't seem like that great of a use of a quarter meter usually i would rather use that on igni uh but still it's worth noting that you have this and uh if you really need that last like pixel of damage it can be a pretty good way to close out the match since it is so fast. Uh, next up, we'll talk about his super. So his super is pretty straightforward. He pretty much just uh, slashes you and then goes into this little combo. Uh, this move is mostly good for whiff punishing, I feel, because it is very fast, like most supers. You can also combo it pretty easily off of most of your launchers, so that's worth noting as well. Uh, but generally, I don't use super a lot with Geralt. Usually, I feel like I'm using most of my meter on signs. I feel like that's just kind of more bang for your buck since you get four of those per meter. But if you really need to kill the opponent, you know, you can always close it out with a super. So, uh, not a bad option. We'll also talk a little bit about his soul charge. So, his soul charge here, he drinks the Tawny Owl Potion and then he gets powered up. So, he gets some new things here. One thing is all his signs now cost zero meter. You can just spam these all day until your meter runs out. The little timer for the soul charge once that runs out 
Uh, you can't use these anymore, but until that happens, you can just use them all day, so that's pretty handy. He also gets some new strings. You can see now his A string becomes a four hit string, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and he gets this somewhat gimmicky new string where it, uh, it's 3A and you can just spam A over and over and he'll just go wild like this. It's a lot of mids, uh, so sometimes you can catch opponents off guard with this, but because there is a high in there, they can duck under it or they can just guard impact it. I would say maybe use this like a little bit, but don't go too crazy with this because you can get big time punished, but it can be kind of funny. A good way to sort of uh, close out matches and make people a little bit mad at you. So that's kind of fun as well. Uh, but once again, like, I don't use his Soul Charge that much either. It is kind of nice that you get the free signs while you're in it, but usually I would rather just hold on to my meter and then use it for signs kind of as I need them. But it's definitely something that comes up. Like, you will be Soul Charging sometimes in matches. Also, just because, like, the pushback effect when you activate Soul Charge is really good, you know, that kind of gets Geralt into that range that he wants to be at, this mid-range range, so uh, it's something you will be using for sure, so don't don't uh, neglect his Soul Charge either. Finally, speaking of Soul Charge, that leads me to his sort of unique mechanics. So if you've played the Witcher games, you know that uh, Geralt has two swords. He has his Steel Sword, which is the normal one that he attacks with. You can see the trail on the Steel Sword is orange. He also has his Silver Sword, which he fights magical beasts with in the Witcher games, and the trail on that is blue. That's kind of one way you can tell the difference. Uh, so if the opponent is soul charged, the steel sword does extra damage to them. And it does kind of a bunch of different effects. You can see here, you get a stun off it. So that's pretty sick. It's going to depend on what attack you do, what kind of effect you get. You can see you get just a ton of damage if you do this, his 4-4-A. Uh, four, four that just does a ton of damage if the opponent is soul charged. So it definitely varies based on attack. Or like this one, his 7-7-B, seven, seven you know, if the opponent is just standing there, this doesn't really do much. It's just one quick hit. But if they are in soul charge... Uh, all of a sudden, this does a little stun, so that's pretty cool. So definitely, it is pretty dangerous to Soul Charge against Geralt, which is kind of an interesting mechanic. Uh, and it, you know, kind of incentivizes keeping track of another set of moves. Like, normally, these Silver Sword moves are not that good. You're not going to be using them that much. But once the opponent activates Soul Charge, that becomes a whole other story. They become really useful, so... Uh, definitely keep those in mind, and if the opponent activates Soul Charge, be ready to punish them with this brutal Silver Sword stuff. So finally, we're just going to cover a couple quick combos here. Uh, a big combo starter with Geralt is his 3B. That's his normal launcher. Uh, there's a couple things you can get off this. You can get uh, 6BB. That's pretty good damage. Obviously, it costs a quarter of a meter to do the extra damage. That one's like pretty good, or you can do... Uh, 6AB, less damage, but you get a nice knockdown with them right next to you, so you can go into some mix-ups or whatever. Uh, so this is generally the one I use. 3B, 6AB. That's kind of my go-to launcher combo. As I mentioned earlier, 3-3 three, three or 9-9B, nine, nine, he gets that stagger. Off of that, you can do 6BB, hold the button, 6-6BB. Six, six, Very good damage. Uh, so really, really good for punishing vertical attacks, like I mentioned. Uh, and then again, this is just a good combo starter in itself. 6BB, you're going to be whiff punishing a lot with this, and then you can get the 6-6BB afterwards. I believe you can also just go straight into super afterwards, which is pretty good. Uh, so if you have the meter and you know it's going to kill, that's a really good option as well. Just rip out that super. And there you go. So, so far, Geralt's combos. I haven't been doing anything crazy. I'm sure you might have some more complicated stuff if you want to get really optimal. But overall, I think he's a pretty simple character, you know? So, uh, hopefully this guide has given you some insight into how to play this character a little bit. We're going to be taking him online right now. So, hopefully I can show you a little bit of how it looks in a real match. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, here we are in an online match. We're trying out Geralt. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the stuff I'm talking about. So usually something I think about at the start of the round is 6-6-A-A with Geralt is always a pretty good option. Uh, it's hard for them to get away from and whiff punish. So I like to throw that out, that move right there. It's really, really good. 
interesting uh, guard break there. Let's just do another one. Look, look at how good that is. So you can already see kind of the optimal range for Geralt. If you're standing a little bit farther away, you can just really make stuff happen with him. A, a nice uh, sidestep there. I think we can get a bigger punish uh, when he whiffs that double uppercut move. We can, we can probably do better. 6A. A, a really good one too. That second hit knocks down. Not a natural combo like I mentioned, but generally pretty safe if blocked because it pushes them far away. Let's back up a little bit. 6-6-A. Six, six, a. A, you can see that move is just very spammable. And there's 6-B-B. I interrupted whatever he was doing. But that move is also really good because it is a mid. It will catch people if they're crouching trying to get under your 6-6-A-A. Six, six, a, a. So just a great option in general. And like I mentioned, it's safe on block if you burn that quarter meter. 6-6-A-A. Six, six, a, a. Again, so safe. It just keeps them so far away. As you can tell, that's just one of my favorite moves with this character. So nice. Okay, we got another one of these. I'm going to go vertical again. Why not? Okay, we clashed. I'll go vertical one more time. Yes, okay. When in doubt, guys. 6-A-A, a, but we're a little close to the edge, so we didn't quite get the pushback. Okay, we got the crumple there, so we can combo off that. Let's go low. Nice. So as you can see, not a natural combo there, uh, but very safe. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll take it. Let's burn him out! There we go! So that's another whiff punish tool you have available to you, is just do the uh, fire blast raw. Down A plus B, and it'll whiff punish like everything, and you can combo off it. But obviously it does take meter to do it raw, you can't do it for free like you can with 6 BB. Speaking of which, we get a nice combo off that, let's go low here, let's go low again, why not? 6 A, A, and we got thrown out of it, okay. Uh, that was while standing A, not really what I wanted, I just wanted 5 A, but it's fine. 6 6 A, A, so good, you can see I'm just catching him for days with all these sidesteps. It's such a good move. And there we got the sidestep punish. Uh, 2 2 B, pretty decent move. So, this was a pretty one-sided match, but hopefully you still get an idea. Like, a lot of my mileage there came from 6 6 A, A, it's such an unassuming looking move. It's just two running horizontal slashes, but it's so, so strong. Obviously, 6BB putting in a lot of work, too. That's a really great move. So anyway, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope very much that you enjoyed it and you kind of got something out of it. So again, if you're a new player, I think Geralt's a pretty good character to pick up. Uh, but if you want to see more characters, let me know in the comments what tutorials you want to see next. I've got a few different ones that I'm working on that I'm hoping to get pushed out real soon. So... Uh, make sure to let me know who you want to see as well. So you can click either of the links here on screen to see more videos from me. Uh, you can click the sub button to become a subscriber. Never miss an upload. I upload videos every single weekday. Uh, or you can click the Patreon link to go to my Patreon and help support the channel. It really helps me out. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.